family. And the last thing, the last thing, from both myself and Geraldine, I would like to wish them well. Um, I'd like to wish Lalanne and Moan well for the future. And well done. And I hope everybody enjoys the day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eugene. Um, unfortunately, there's no one left to introduce, only myself. So I'll get cracking on my speech. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful evening in this uh, beautiful venue. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is James, and for those of you who do know me, Cullocks will do just fine. <laughs> I've been given the honour today of being Ronan's best man. It really is a true privilege for me, and I'm very grateful for Ronan to put such trust in me. I, I wouldn't imagine it was a difficult choice. <laughs> Uh, given the line of a groomsman here today, <laughs> we've the local lunatic and Andrew Mooney. <laughs> and some foreign exchange student I haven't seen in four years. It's Stephen Murphy. <laughs> well, we're off to a great start anyway, aren't we? <laughs> Ronan went with the sensible option <laughs> of a level-headed Jenton scholar and myself, if I do say so, with the added bonus of IT knowledge. <laughs> In case any issues arise over the course of the evening, which I'm sure Eugene will let me know about. <laughs> I think we'll all agree... It's been a wonderful day so far and a brilliant church ceremony in Denor. I would like to say thank you to the bridesmaids, um, Fiona, Mariah and Laura. You look absolutely beautiful today. You've done a great job of helping Lana for the preparations for a big day. In particular with the padlocks around the house this morning so she couldn't do a runner. In all seriousness, um, I think all of us here today will agree that Alana looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gruff, on the other hand, just looks a bit stunned. <laughs> Page two. When Ronan... <laughs> Sorry in advance. Uh, when Ronan met Alana on that lovely evening in Fusion Nightclub many moons ago, <clears throat> as the relationship blossomed into the strong flower it is today. We started to notice a few changes in Ronan over the years. In the early days, Ronan fashioned this long, curly mop of a haircut. It was horrendous in fairness, but it wasn't long getting the chop with Alana on the scene. Ronan also wore unisex square glasses that also seemed to vanish fairly quick. But at what cost did it come to his vision? Given the fact that he crashed multiple cars during that time, and in general drove like an asshole. Ronan was also once a surfing t-shirt connoisseur. It was, a, it was a strange time, sporting brands like Oakley and Rip Curl. But the most fitting of all the dodgy t-shirts he had was one that just said bench across the, across the chest of the t-shirt because that's as far as he got with the loud team. In fairness, we all know that Ronan is a fine footballer with many accomplishments and trophies to his name. So if you're a chubby reserve goalkeeper, there's hope for you yet. He's a wand of a left peg, can pick incredible passes and pull off great scores. His flaw, however, is his pace. Dog slow. So slow, in fact, that I was at a football match in Drada and an old man said to me, as Ronan ran by... Is this a slow motion replay, he said. (laughs) 
<laughs> One thing that has vastly improved over the years is Ronan's dance moves. I still remember one of the first nights in Fusion. Um, Ronan headed for the dance floor. He arrives in the dance floor and he starts giving a little, you know, a little jig and a jive, you know. So, all right, I need, to, I need to bust a move here, start getting people attention. So he thinks, right, what can I do here? I'll channel my inner Grufferty. What would Eugene do? He'd start the lawnmower. Followed closely by the towel behind the back. Unbelievable stuff. You had to witness it. But I have to ask Alana, which dance move was it that sealed the deal for you? <laughs> right, where am I here? Um, he's all still with me, yeah? Eugene, are you with me? <laughs> Big shout out to all the lads that went in the stag. Yeah. Thanks for coming and being a part of it. It meant a lot to Ronan for you being there. And it was a nice, quiet weekend. <laughs> Berlin is a wonderful city with great culture, art and sightseeing. And by God, there were some sights to see that weekend. A special mention to Eugene, who put in one hell of a shift against the odds. A bull of a man. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Ronan. He was tucked in, he was the first man tucked into bed on the first night. The wee baba. He was also one of the last men on the scene on the second night. But sure, look, we all had a great time anyway. So. <laughs> Folks, I just want to take a moment to mention the families of the bride and groom. Over the years, I've been around the Grufferties many times. And I've always felt uh, a warm, welcoming home and a real sense of family. And from meeting Alana's family, you get, this, you get the same sort of energy. And you can tell that both bride and groom have come from loving, caring backgrounds. <laughs> naturally, sorry, naturally Ronan, and, Ronan and Alana have continued this tradition in the form of the main man, the one and only Charlie Grufferty. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone that has met Charlie that he is such a big character for such a small person. He's a testament to the love that Ronan and Alana show each other and I have no doubt that Charlie will have a great future ahead with Ronan and Alana guiding him on the path of his life. <laughs> Tip for future Glenn Emmett's captain and who knows, maybe one day he'll do better than his father and actually play county. <laughs> Folks, I'm very lucky in this day and age to have a true, genuine friend and a friend for life in Ronan. And I wish him and his new wife, Alana, and family nothing but the best in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure. And please be upstanding and raise a toast to Ronan and Alana, the new Mr. and Mrs. Grofferty. Thank you very much.